Hey, what's up? It's been here. So it's been a while since I talked about investing or stocks in general. So today I want to give you guys a quick run through of how to contribute to your 2023 Roth IRA. And this is on Webull specifically. So if you don't have Webull or just interested to know about Webull, feel free to stay. If not, you can feel free to scroll away. But uh, if you haven't already have Webull, feel free to uh, go ahead and fund your account, sign up and fund your account. And if you do, you get up to uh, about like 20 shares, fractional shares that's value up to $3,000. Uh, so it's basically free money for you guys. And by the way, if you guys don't know what a Roth IRA is, it's basically uh, after taxes uh, money that you could put into your account. And when you retire at the age of 59 and a half, you can pull all the money out tax free. And by the way, if you are uh, under 50 years old, the contribution limit is 6,500. And if you are, are older than uh, 50 or older, then the contribution limit is 7,500. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the app. So right now you could see that I am on the Weibo app on this Roth IRA on the top left. It mentions that. So once you arrive to your account, it's going to pull up like, you know, the assets and then scroll to uh, transfers on the top right hand side transfers and then hit the contribution amounts right over here. Oh, it's actually set up as, as that Con contribution and then hit uh, you, you have the options to do ACH wire or checks. So uh, I normally do ACH because it's free and it's easy. So I click that and then the amount that I want to enter is 6,500 because I am younger than 50. So I have that scroll down contribution type. I'm going to do regular contribution and this is the where you select 2023 and remember the deadline is April 15th 2024 for the 2023 contribution tax year. So I'm going to hit that. So 2023, make sure that's selected and then hit submit and then your confirmation right over here. Confirm that hit submit and then you're all done and hit confirm and exit. So basically the money will go into your Roth IRA account and remember to always invest it because if you just have the money sitting there, the money is just going to just sit there and not do anything. So in order to make your money work for you, invest it buy you know stocks or ETFs if you like uh, and I'll go through over a couple of things about that and uh, in future videos. But bear with me. Remember to invest it if you want to have money into uh, into your Roth IRA. If not, the money is going to just be sitting there and won't grow. Okay, just remember that.